Thousands have converged on a stadium in Lesotho's capital, Maseru, to celebrate the country's 50th independence anniversary. Those uh, proceedings led by King Leti III. Let's take a look. A star-studded celebration, Swaziland's King Mswati III, Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe and Botswana President Ian Khama were among the dignitaries. Recently, relations became frosty between Mugabe and Khama after the Botswana president said it was time for President Mugabe to step down. And today, not even late King Mushesh's peace motto could ease the tension between the two. But that did not deter Basotho from celebrating this milestone. The Prime Minister is proud that during 98 years of colonial rule, the British built one kilometre of Tad Road, and in 50 years, 2,000 kilometres have been built by the Lesotho governments. The pioneers of Lesotho's independence sought to throw off the joke of colonialism. They had a very pithy expression. They said, and I quote, it is better to misgovern ourselves than to be governed well by others. Friends of Lesotho wished the Mountain Kingdom well. We look forward to coming back to the Kingdom to celebrate the centenary of your independence. Kiali Moha, thank you. May Almighty God bless us all. And the king made a clarion call for peace and change. Kenali Troelo, Yahu Hulela Bui Karabello, Babueta Pi, Mahitli, Aburadi Politiki. As a people, we have a habit of letting politicians decide our destiny, but each one of us should take charge. The military lightened the day. The people of this small mountain kingdom gathered and filled up the Sesotho Stadium that sits 15,000 people. They showed off their attire and their modern gymnastics all in celebration of an independence that has been marred on the one hand by political upheavals but on the other by development. Chakwa Nangatani, SABC News, Maseru Lesotho.